In this tip, we're going to demonstrate how to create evenly spaced section cuts through a surface and then how to quickly step through the sections. Let's go ahead and create a line along the length that we'd like to have our cuts distributed. And then let's pull that line above our surface. Now I'm going to go to the plane, infinite plane tool, and up on top there's an option to create and distribute a collection of planes along a curve. Let's go ahead and create 10 planes along this line. You can use any type of a curve, splines, circles, and when the plane is created, it takes the normal of the plane to be aligned with the tangent of the curve at the point that it is distributed. Now let's go over to our cut section tool, and we're going to go ahead and select those planes to cut the surface. And one interesting feature of this is if you press down the Option key while you're doing it, it will automatically create layers and place each section in a layer. And we're going to go ahead and do that. So with the Option key down, I'm going to go ahead and select my planes and then select the surfaces. And there's our section cuts. Now if we go to Concept Explorer and open up the Layer Manager, we'll see that the cuts are named uh, with respect to the uh, type of plane and its uh, location. Now let's go ahead and isolate this layer and I'm going to step through all of my planes now. And to do that I'm going to go over to the shortcuts and underneath the layers category there's a command for decrementing the layer and we're going to uh, assign a key for that and incrementing the layer. And what this does is it not only increments the layer, but it turns everything off. It's like an isolate layer that steps forward and backwards. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and press those keys now. And here's our section cuts. And I can increment forward and backwards. So this is a great way to visualize, let's say you have a whole bunch of sections that you're trying to uh, uh, see how the part is relative to 2D slices, and that's a great tool for doing that.